Hi everyone, I'm Kate McCauley from Patton Emporium. Welcome to Sneak Peek Week. This week we have a gorgeous dress to show you. It's called the Tank Dress Three Ways and it features three skirt options and that is the hero of this dress. So we have an A-line skirt, we have a gathered skirt and we have a full beautiful circle skirt. To enter our giveaway, all you need to do is comment below and you'll go in the draw to win this pattern for free. You can also enter by commenting on the test of photos in our group and one will be selected each day to win one of these patterns and that will be drawn on Thursday just before the pattern release. It features a beautiful fitted bodice, this gorgeous wide binding that is much easier than you think. It has a classic crew neck and these fabulous cutaway armholes. It has a waist seam so it's easily adjustable to your body length. It is so easy to multi-size and the gorgeous thing about this pattern is depending on what fabric you use and which option you choose and even which length you choose it is so gloriously versatile. So all the sides of your personality with one dress pattern. And last but not least, it is so mashable. You can mash with the follow me bodice and then you can basically add any sleeve that you want in our fitted and semi-fitted range of stretch garments. You could add a puff sleeve with the Hello Gorgeous. You could add a bishop sleeve with either the True Romance or the Starstruck. You could add the Follow Me sleeves, which are the cap sleeve, short sleeve, and the long sleeve, and that beautiful full circle sleeve. Um, if you want to extend the length of any of the skirts, you can do that too. Now the fabrics. It is designed for four-way stretch knit fabrics. So four-way stretch knit is the ones that will stretch this way and will stretch this way. You want it to have a lastane lycra spandex that will give your fabric that bounce back ability so resilience now some of the fabrics that you can use wool jersey ity cotton lycra even the gathered skirt works in cotton lycra poly jersey your modals your viscose your bamboos double brush poly and single brush poly which are awesome for um, the different prints and the color fastness that you can get in these fabrics. And then your more stable fabrics like Ponty, uh, Double Knits, Jacquard Knit, those sort of fabrics that are thicker are great in the A-line and the circle skirt. Um, so chic for work. Probably would avoid a thicker fabric with the gathered skirt because you're just going to get bulk when you gather up Ponty. Now, one of the optional features in this pattern is stabilizing elastic around the waist. You don't have to use it. It's in there if you want to use it. And the reason you would use it would be for two reasons. Number one is your fabric. If you have a fabric that is super stretchy, like rayon, viscose, bamboo, ITY, it's a great idea to have it around the waist. So you don't want it tight, you just want it fitted to your body. You can't even notice I've got it in here. So I go through a couple of methods on how to put the elastic in, but as I said, it is optional. It's particularly useful in the circle skirt because of the weight of a circle skirt and the gathered skirt because they can have a tendency to pull some fabrics out, um, but not all. So it is totally up to you. Okay, let's get started on these dresses. So for each skirt style, I have um, a couple of dresses and then I have a pattern hack so you can see the different options for blending, say if you want sleeves, for instance. The first style up is the A-line. The A-line is so chic and sophisticated. It fits smoothly onto the waist. It is your classic A-line shape. It's not as flared as say the Heartlight skirt, is it is a lot narrower, but you still have that gorgeous A-line shape. Um, and the A-line is definitely my go-to. I have hip dips, so um, I carry my weight through um, the top of my thigh, I suppose. 
Um, and for me, A-line is just the most flattering. The pattern comes with uh, above the knee or below the knee. And height-wise, it really is going to depend on your waist to floor length. So all those measurements are in the pattern itself. The A-line tank dress makes a fabulous work dress, especially in a fabric like Ponty, which I will show you next. Isn't it fabulous? So this is a Ponty, as I said, so thicker than the poly jersey that I just showed you. I have top stitched every single seam. So I top stitched here, around here, down the side seam, obviously around the binding. And it is just so classically chic. Now, if you wanted to add a belt to just finish off your garment. And because you've got the waist seam all the way around, you can fit it perfectly to your body. Even if you need a sway back adjustment, you can do that after you've sewn it if you need to. Now, because a ponte is so stable, I didn't bother with any elastic around the waist. And this is the below the knee option. Double brushed poly is so easy and comfortable to wear. To me, it's kind of like, okay, you know your favorite tracky dacks, and for those overseas, tracky dacks in Australian are your sweatpants. We call them tracky dacks. So you know your favorite tracky dacks? That's what double brush poly is like to wear. It is so soft and comfortable. It doesn't matter what you make. It just feels so beautiful on. And the prints that you can get are amazing. And the gorgeous thing about it is the fabric holds the print so it's not going to fade on you. And I just love, I love being able to wear, um, you know, a little tank, little dress and be super, super, comfortable and easy pair of sneakers on my feet and off I go without making too much fuss but knowing you know because I'm a little bit of a fashion head I suppose knowing I look great now if you want to add a belt super easy to add a belt around the waist to define your waist just a little bit more which this one probably doesn't it kind of blends in but if you wanted to put a black one and it actually looks fantastic with a wider belt as well. So there you go, a more defined waist. And it just fits so gloriously around whatever curves you have. Now let me show you with a wide belt. I have to hold it because I just realized that this is broken. So I have to see if I can get it fixed. So you see how great, can you see that? A wide belt looks and you'll see some of the ladies have added them as well and it just defines your waist more so one of the good things about this pattern is that you can choose where this waistline sits so in the pattern in the tutorial itself you will see um, finished garment measurements from here down to your waist so you can adjust that and it is super easy again instructions to adjust the bodice length are in the tutorial and as I said this is the A-line, double brush poly and below the knee and then if you need a bit of a cover-up in the evening or a chilly afternoon you can turn it into a top and a skirt. This is the unwind in the three-quarter sleeve and the crop length and it just fits gorgeously over the top. Okay, next up we have our A-line pattern hack. So this is obviously the A-line skirt and then I have the follow me bodice and sleeve with that gorgeously <laughs> scoot, very low neckline. Now for this one, I have it, um, but I can feel that I haven't, but so I would recommend um, stabilizing the waist only because I've used a rib knit. So you can see the rib. So it's quite, it's still quite stretchy. So I would probably stabilize that waistline with a little bit of the, the clear elastic that I show you in the tutorial. So gorgeously classic. You see that beautiful 
fitting through the back. And there you go, you have a beautiful winter dress. And off you go to work. Next up, we have the super fun and flirty gathered skirt. So you can see the gathers onto the bodice. In the tutorial, I show you the easiest way to get nice, even gathers. This is uh, the knee length option and it is in a beautiful, soft double brush poly. And you can see the gorgeous bindings and how beautifully the bodice fits. And then you can also do this one in the below the knee as well. And I've just teamed it with my favorite sneakers. It's just gorgeously feminine and pretty and easy to wear. Now, if you're in any way nervous about doing this wide binding, please don't be. There is a video in the tutorial that will take you through step by step and show you just how easy it is. It's really just a matter of following the process. Each step is not hard. Now on double brush poly, I found I didn't need the stabilizing elastic, um, but again, it is optional and it is totally up to you whether you do or you don't. Next up, we have a poly jersey with contrast bands. So if your fabric isn't resilient enough, which this one probably is, um, you can use something different on the bands and just have a contrast. There you go. Um, now, the reason I love this one so much, other than it is animal print, is I made a mistake. So I actually cut this too short. So you might see that it's a little bit shorter than the other one. Well, I actually cut, cut it up to here. So like way, way too short. So all I did was I just drew along the bottom of the pattern and just so that you have that shaped piece because our gathered skirt isn't a rectangle. It's, it's a slightly, it's a proper shaped skirt. So it's just a more flattering fit on the body. So anyway, so I just added it along the bottom, did a bit of cover stitching at the top and the bottom so it didn't look so much like a mistake. And it worked out really cute. And you can see there's, there's still a bit of movement in the skirt. And it's totally adorable. Now, each skirt has a different way of fitting it. So the bodice is fit one way. So you'll see that in the tutorial on the first size and fit page with the measurement table. So go through those instructions. Um, and then each skirt is different. Not difficult, it's just one step. It's just each skirt requires a different measurement as a dominant measurement, that's all. And as I said, I show you um, how easy it is to multi-size if your waist is a little bit bigger than your upper body and your lower body. Now with this one, I did use stabilizing elastic. It's kind of hard to tell the difference, but it just gives you, um, I guess, a firmer hold around your tummy, but it doesn't pull your tummy in. The important thing is if your tummy is, if your waist <laughs> is a bigger size than your um, upper bust, so then your tank size, do multi-size. Um, it's especially important if you're using the elastic because you don't want that to be tight. You just want that to fit naturally around your body and hold the fabric in place, not you in place. Next up, we have our gathered skirt pattern hack. So I've used cotton lycra. Um, I've done below the knee in the gathered. Um, I didn't use any stabilizing elastic on this one. It's the follow me bodice. And then I've used the bishop sleeve out of the true romance. So the really dramatic bishop sleeve, but I've cut it off at the elbow. I just measured evenly up from the bottom whipped it off, um, sort of smoothed that line out a little bit, and I've just added um, elastic. See? Just super, super simple, nice and easy, and then you've winterized your tank dress. Pop on a pair of sneakers, off you go. And it's actually surprisingly 
warm and it's it's cotton lycra so it is nice and comfortable and I chose like a really really soft one um, I didn't use stabilizing elastic on the waist and I think this is not my usual style but it is actually growing on me it's actually quite cute next up we have the circle skirt let me show you Isn't that amazing? It is a full circle, fits neatly into your waist and is absolutely gorgeous. Now, because of the weight of a circle skirt, as I said, it is a full circle. If your fabric is drapey, I would recommend using the stabilizing elastic. Now, you can see on this one that my elastic is too tight. So make sure you multi-size if you're waist is a bigger size which mine is now if your fabric has a print detail on it display it have it showing beautifully now if you make a little bit of a mistake here which is why i recommend basting first just put on a belt <laughs> a belt hides a multitude of sins so there you go and it just, again, defines the waist and breaks up an uneven pattern. And look at that. Now, the thing that you need to remember about a drapey fabric and a circle skirt is it can drop. So you might want to make it and then hang it up for a little bit so that it drops and then you can hem it. And just remember when you wash it, it will go back to its original length so again you want to hang it like don't fold it and put it in in a drawer if you have it hanging up it'll drop back to that length so this is the below the knee length and it is definitely dropped um, my bodice has definitely dropped too which is why it's handy having the elastic because that will hold it at my waist but it is just it's just so beautiful and again you look amazing, you look chic, you look so dressed up. And this is a lightweight cotton lycra, so super, super comfortable and just easy to wear. Even with a pair of sneakers. Let me show you my work one in Ponty. It is gorgeous. This is the Ponty. The fabric is quite thick, so the skirt is quite heavy, not too heavy. And it just, just look at that drape with that much body. It is so gorgeous. Now I've done contrast bands. Um, if your fabric is really, really thick, it is a great idea to do contrast bands. Um, you would have seen on my other one, my other Ponty one, I did the same bands and it was totally fine. If you're sewing the bands and it is thick, make sure that you do iron and steam flat and it will make it much easier to get over this shoulder section. Now this shape is just so classic and then you've got the modern of the neckline shape and the Ponty just holds everything in so beautifully. It's just such a lovely, lovely classic look. Um, I didn't bother with stabilizing elastic on this one because the Ponty is so firm and holds it in itself. But if your fabric was um, more drapey um, or had a lot more stretch or say your Ponty has a lot more rayon in it, so that has a tendency to stretch out a little bit, then definitely put it in the waist. If you want to add the elastic Afterwards, if you've made the dress and you suddenly realize, oh, I need the elastic, you can totally do that too. And last but not least, we have our circle skirt pattern hack. Look at that. Now you'll see some of the ladies have done stripes and there's two, way to do, two ways to do your stripes. You can do it with the vertical stripe through the front. Looks incredible. Or you can do it with the stripe running horizontal like I have and you get that shape. So both are fantastic. Now let me show you with a belt. So if you have a plain fabric or just a stripe, 
you can add an amazing contrast with a gorgeous belt. And it just lifts it. Um, but it looks fantastic with or without the belt. So this is the follow me fitted bodice and sleeve. And then obviously the circle skirt. And it just all fits in so beautifully. When you mash the new tank dress skirt options with the follow me top, um, the follow me wrap dress, um, you don't need to make any changes. It just fits perfectly in place as is. You just combine them. So sew the top using the follow me instructions and then sew the skirt using the new tank dress instructions and combine them together. All right, let me take my shoes off. <laughs> so do you have a favourite? I can't even decide. I think I love the way that the Ponty A-line is so work chic, like it's so stable in that knit. But then you have something like this, which is so gorgeously flowy that you could have several in your wardrobe and be perfectly happy. So that is all of the dresses. What did you think? Do you have a favorite? So do you have a favorite fabric that I used or a favorite skirt? Is your mind starting to tick about what you have in your fabric stash or some patterns that you might want to combine together? Have I changed your mind after you saw my glorious sketches? <laughs> and now you see the actual dress. Now from tomorrow morning, we have our tester photos starting. So the testers will take you through um, the designs that they have sewn. And there are quite a few testers. Um, a lot of our team wanted to test this dress, which is always really awesome when people are so enthusiastic about a new design. So that starts Monday morning, 7 a.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time. So whenever you see me write A-E-S-T, that's Australian Eastern Standard Time. Um, and they will start with Mel's photo first thing in the morning. Now, our giveaway. The first one is commenting on this video. All you need to do to go in the draw to win a free pattern is comment on this video. So you can comment below here on YouTube or in the group. It is totally up to you. They all count. And then the second part is comment on the tester photos during the week. And then from those, we will select one each day and they will all be drawn on Thursday just before the pattern release. So the pattern release itself, yay! Um, that starts on Thursday, 6.30 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time. Um, and then that will run through until Sunday night, um, Australian time. And you will get a discount on this pattern and the follow me dress pattern. So if you want to use that bodice, like I showed you in the video, you can do that too. Now, don't forget to comment and like and click on the red subscribe button. So um, that will notify you whenever I do a new video. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the group.